My name's Alvin Alderman. Uh, a couple of things I should let you know. Uh, I am excellent at modesty. Uh, I'm a diagnosed schizophrenic, or so I keep telling myself. I tend to give off a very bad first impression, but they do get better. I do a great Michael Caine. I've had a very coloured past. I used to be addicted to crayons. I'm very partial to a bit of urination. I suppose you could say I'm its number one fan. I'm very knowledgeable of the hokey cokey. I know all the ins and outs. <laughs> I tend to go on a lot of holidays. Uh, last summer I went on a trip to a mediocre postcard factory. It was nothing to write home about. <laughs> I also went to the red light district. Traffic was a nightmare. <laughs> Whilst I was there, I booked a table at a terrible restaurant. I had my reservations. <laughs> I enjoy telling jokes about broken watches. They're timeless. <laughs> last year for Lent, I decided to give up failure. It was very successful. <laughs> At school, I was regularly told off for standing up too much in lessons. They sentenced me to the chair. <laughs> I didn't do much acting at school, but then on my year abroad, I uh, caught my... I was bitten by the bug. Caught malaria, I almost ruined that one, just about saying it. <laughs> you know what's big at the moment? Fat people. <laughs> but fancy anorexics, they're pretty thin on the ground. <laughs> My friend called me ignorant the other day. Puh, ignorant. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> Aging is a terrible thing. My grandma, she wakes up every day. She doesn't recognize the face of the man in bed next to her. It's not the Alzheimer's, she's just a drunken slut. <laughs> I had a plowman's lunch earlier. He didn't look very happy. <laughs> uh, at this point in the set, I was going to tell a sexist joke, but a quarter of the people in the audience are probably too stupid to understand it. <laughs> You know what I hate about misogyny? Women. Uh, on my year abroad, uh, I went on a worldwide one-man game of hide-and-seek. I was trying to find myself. I went out last night, came home with a bird on my arm. Always loved a bit of falconry. A close friend of mine asked me if I've ever had any trouble saying simple verbs. I can't say I have. I've got a very small friend uh, who has no arms. He doesn't hold his alcohol very well. I recently saw a documentary on the history of tampons. It was absorbing. I went to a dating event promoted by Sean Connery, but I just arrived at a room full of people suffering from a debilitating illness. It was a shingles night. After years of having to deny sleeping with prostitutes, it's no surprise that members of the upper class greet each other with what ho? <laughs>